So recently, for my birthday, I went to York to go to the NRM and have a look around York. Um, and here's what I've saw these past few days. My birthday was actually on Thursday. Uh, here's a crab. First time I've seen a crab before, that's pretty nice. And here's Gladstone. Um, yeah, honestly, trying to get around the whole museum was a bit confusing without the map. But, yeah, here's a bunch of pictures of, like, all the engines they put in their promotional material. I find the posters very intimidating. Here's Wren. Never heard of it, but nice little engine sitting here. I think throughout this whole video I'm just going to have annoying bits of commentary from me about what happened and what I saw and my reaction and all that nonsense but here's a bit more of the crab it's a very nicely kept engine, very polished there you go, there's the tender number and uh, here's my bad filming because I do not know how to operate my camera settings on my phone I'm a bit of a, a fool Here's Gladstone again. I do like the LBSC uh, improved engine green. I think that's the right livery. But here's all the coaches. I'm not too into carriages and stuff. So all this stuff was just like, oh yeah, cool, whatever. But I think these are mostly just like old uh, pre-grouping royal family coaches, all different coaches. The only one I could recognize was that Mark III at the back there, the six axle. Mark III, or the six wheel bogeyed Mark III, or whatever it's called. It's very nice. Here we go, off to the Great Hall. Finally finding my way here after stumbling about the museum and oh my god, look at all these engines. It was really interesting to see so many engines, like this Shinkansen, I've never seen one in person, and this Chinese engine. It is actually kind of frightening, the size of this thing. Jesus Christ. And there is what I came here for, honestly. D200 on the turntable and a Class 31. Look at that engine, it's massive. I already love this place. All these engines around the turntable.
<laughs> this one's called Knob. <laughs> Copper Knob. <laughs> Knobhead. Way. I know a certain member of my club absolutely is a fan of this engineer. Element Lines, I think it's named. I can't remember. But, uh, yeah, absolute favourite of his. I hope he's watching this video. When it's three o'clock in the morning And the moon shines through the park The railway men are going to work And the dogs creep home in the dark With me long narrow shovel, me bread and cheese A little white can for me tea When I'm too old for a fireman's work It's a driver I shall be Oh, when me boots go crunch on the gravel the black smoke fills the air A wisp of steam from the cylinder Taps of me engine waiting there With me long narrow shovel Me bread and cheese A little white can for me tea When I'm too old for a fireman's work It's a driver I shall be Oh, we fill up the tank with water And the tender stacked with coal I pick up the shovel in me frozen hands And I fill up the fiery hole With me long narrow shovel, me bread and cheese A little white can for me tea When I'm too old for a fireman's work It's a driver I shall be Oh, we roll on down to the cabin And the guard is waiting there We pick up the train from the shunting yard And we're off God knows where, with me long narrow shovel and me bread and cheese, a little white can for me tea. When I'm too old for a fireman's work, it's a driver I shall be. And when the fire lights up all the footplate, and the night is sharp and clear, if a man doesn't close all the loco sheds, I'll be here in forty years, with me long narrow shovel. Bread and cheese, a little white can for me tea. When I'm too old for a fireman's work, it's a driver I shall be. Well, that was a bit aggressive. Outside they've got their Western, and I've never seen one in person, it's a nice looking engine. 
But then I turn around and, oh my god, a Curascale has made a one-to-one -one model of a Deltic. Bravo, a Curascale. Can't believe you've accomplished this. But, for real. Seeing so many engines that I've seen in model form, and then just seeing them in person, because I just live in the middle of butt nowhere, it's amazing to see these engines that I have, or have seen as models. Just, it's, it's, it's mind-boggling to me. And here's the Q1's tender from earlier. It's like a few meters away from the actual engine. Hopefully next time I come here, they're both coupled up. Next lot of photos are just other bits and bobs I've taken around the museum and inside a north shed in their, I'm just call it the junk exhibition, railway junk. But yeah, enjoy these next few clips and all that and uh, I'll start jabbering on in a few minutes. Ten big wheels to roll her along, just a working girl on the licky. Bertha's the name in the Hall of Fame She was the only one of her kind The first and last of her line She was foul as dream And was first in steam As 1920 dawned She served her time on the two-mile line Till the diesel age was born Ten big wheels to roll her along Just a working girl on the licky Bertha's the name in the Hall of Fame She was the only one of her kind The first and last of her line If a train should fail on the rising rail They'd summon Bertha's power Then she'd ease them up to Blackwell Top In a quarter of an hour Ten big wheels to roll her along Just a working girl on the licky Bertha's the name in the Hall of Fame She was the only one of her kind First and last of her line Well, a tower of strength on the licky's length She seldom fell from grace Then what could they do but send for two Or three to take a place Ten big wheels to roll her along Just a working girl on the licky Bertha's the name in the Hall of Fame She was the only one of her kind The first and last of her line Well, she steamed away every working day For nearly forty years On that famous run, but her time was done she quietly disappeared Ten big wheels to roll her along Just a working girl on the licky Bertha's the name in the Hall of Fame She was the only one of her kind The first and last of her line Her name lives on Though her voice is gone From the early morning field and all I have is a photograph Of a girl with ten big wheels Ten big wheels to roll her along Just a working girl on the licky Bertha's the name in the Hall of Fame She was the only one of her kind The first and last of her line She was the only one of her kind Half past five on a Wednesday morn, the driver and his mate Came hurtling out to loco shedding a damn great number eight The fireman wiped his greasy hands, they rolled along the tractor Pick up a gallon of water and a couple of tubs of slack Couple of tubs of slack They waited till the clock was showing a couple hundred pound They took her to the turntable and they quickly turned around 
But when they went to Parker, they made their big mistake For they left her on a gradient and forgot about the break Forgot about the break It happened when the turntable was only half we ran The engine wheels began to turn with an ominous rumbling sound The driver, when he saw the thing, began to scream and spit As the mighty engine humped its back and plunged into the pit Plunged into the pit He went to see the foreman, he was quaking at the knees Saying, sir, you've got an engine parked at 45 degrees the foreman turned a ghastly green and grabbed the telephone Then half a bottle of aspirins and he caught the next bus home Caught the next bus home They fetched the gang from Nottingham and they soon set about With chains and jacks and dirty words they got the damn thing out The fireman lost his shovel, now he's sweeping up the coal And I haven't seen the driver since but I think he's on the dole Think he's on the dole I ended up getting all this shrapnel from the museum, some coin presses, uh, souvenir coins, and some fridge magnets, just because they were the cheapest stuff there. Then I went to Weatherspoons, had me a uh, birthday tea, and honestly, I think this whole trip, everything just went my way. Everything just went perfect. And then, next day, off to the model shop. When I well, this is my first time going to a Monk Bar model shop, and here's a Backham and Thomas selection, and some of their other engines. I was expecting to find second-hand models, but I shouldn't really be so well thinking every model shop has second-hand models. For what they had, they had a lot of stuff I haven't seen in other shops, like, well, just little things like detail parts and certain sets that other shops don't stock. But they had a nice selection and a nice cabinet full of engines and stuff. Just engines and coaches and trucks and on their other, f well, the entry floor, I call it, they had all these other airfix kits and diecast models and stuff. Just, it um, attracts anybody who does a similar hobby. But if you're around at the York area, or you're visiting York, for like, I don't know, the NRM, doing the same thing I did, I do recommend going into Monk Bar Model Shop. They've got a lovely selection of models, some great prices, and uh, a really nice selection of engines to buy. Or just any models. You don't even need to buy model trains, you can just buy some airfix kits, some paints, uh, they do got a fair bit of O gauge behind the counter on the wall. Uh, they also got some die cast models, jigsaws. I never saw any jigsaws because I wasn't really looking for them, but they got them apparently. Uh, but yeah, I do recommend to go in here and have a scroll and have a, a browse and buy something. I also saw the Pico TT 120 range. Packaging looks nice. That's all I could say because I've never tried it. Uh, they got other bits and bobs. Um, I ended up buying myself a Backman Toby because I got some plans. Uh, and then it was a nice five hour drive home. And uh, here's my birthday cake and all my presents. And what are my presents? All these. That's brilliant. Well, apart from Toby because I already bought Toby. But here's a little Airfix quick build beetle. 
that dad kind of already spoiled for me through Facebook. And uh, I built it and I really like it. I also got this little Oge Shunter and I think I'm spoiling my next video. But uh, I'm doing a, I'm currently collecting up a lot of clips and stuff to do my big O-Gage video, my O-Gage collection. So uh, stick around for that because uh, I'm still in the middle of editing it and stop like slacking off. So yeah, really, that's not really, there's not really much else I could say other than uh, I've enjoyed myself, had a nice trip down to York and go to the NRM and visit one of the local model shops around the area. Uh, got some nice toys and gubbins for my birthday. Um, next video, I'm planning so maybe my O gauge collection, or I might do that next year when I've got all the O gauge bits and bobs that I've collected over this year. And, uh, but I think next video might be about Backman Toby and Henrietta, so stay tuned for that.